Alrighty, guys. Hey, uh, glad you're here to stop in and view the content again. Uh, thank you again. I really do appreciate it. Um, this will be part four of our Let's Play, our new career in American Truck Simulator. Um, we've completed uh, three loads for other companies, of course. We haven't done anything for our own company yet. Um, and uh, we are at $17,629 total. So we're trying to get to $50,000 before we head over to the bank and take out a loan so that we can actually purchase our very first truck and start doing loads for our very own company. Um, I just want to say thank you guys again uh, for uh, all the support you've been showing to the channel. Uh, if you guys uh, uh, like the content, please hit the thumbs up and show, show the support that way. Um, of course, subscribe, which is always a great way to support the channel, help us grow the community that we're trying to build. And, uh, and feel free, you know, to, to leave a comment down, uh, you know, uh, tips, tricks, uh, whatever, whatever it is that, uh, that you, you want to reach out and, and let me know what you think about the videos. Uh, let me know what you think I can do to improve the, the, the content quality. Um, let me know if the audio is, you know, may, needs a little bit more tweaking. Um, uh, cause, uh, you know, I, I definitely appreciate any kind of, any assistance I can get. And uh, just know that, uh, you know, I will be listening. Um, so with all that out of the way. Uh, oh, and of course, if you know anybody who would like this kind of content, uh, know anybody who's wanting to, to hop into our career and hop into a brand new, not only a brand new career, but a brand new community that we, we got here, a brand new club or family, a YouTube family, uh, then please, you know, share the videos, share the playlist and, and, and invite them over. Say, hey, check this out, man. This guy's brand new. You know, he's trying to trying to do something different, uh, trying to do something different with a game that's been played since 2016. Uh, uh, although it is driving, so there's not much uh, to the game I could do differently. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are trying to build something different here. Uh, and so, again, I thank you. Uh, thank you for any of the support you guys can give. Uh, I'm Big Mike. This is Big Mike's Gaming. And, uh, um, yeah, let's let's get to it. So, yeah. Uh, now the the these old school trucks man or these new slash classic trucks man to, to me they're just amazing uh but yeah so let's see where we are so uh, we left off we just finished our third load we've received two additional emails so i'm just going to hop into the emails check them out special transport from dispatch it says hello boss i'm having something special i have something special for you uh, thanks to our connections, we are now able to get a real challenge. Some special extra large and heavy cargo needs to be hauled by a true professional. That'd be us. Uh, it won't be easy. It'll require some skill, patience, cooperation with escorting vehicles and extra care. But I guess you have have it all, right? But I guess you have it all, right? Okay. Although bigger risk comes with bigger profits. If you're interested, you can visit these uh, cities, uh, San Rafael, California, Idaho Falls, Idaho, Kingsman, Arizona, Boys, Idaho, Denver, Colorado, Clovis, New Mexico, Riverton, Wyoming, Socorro, New Mexico, Yuma, Arizona, Eureka, California, uh, Port Angeles, and Washington. Phoenix, Arizona, San Francisco, California, Seattle, uh, Washington, Provo, Utah, Fresno, California, and a bunch of other ones. Let me see. Farmington, Oxner, Truckee. <laughs> Truckee. <laughs> we got a city in, uh, in California after us. We're, we're truckies, right? Um, maybe a little bit of a corny joke there. Uh uh, let's see, Prim Spokes and uh, uh, Spokane, Sp Spokane, Washington. All right, so we can head over to those places and take our special, special transports. And it says, driver with own equipment needed. Walmart Logistics Center in Denver. To whom it may concern, that'd be Big Mike, baby. Uh, we are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks for a large number of our deliveries. We offer competitive rates up to 12200 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our docks in Denver. All right. Awesome sauce. 
Well, I don't have my own equipment just yet, but Walmart, but I would definitely get it. Don't worry about it. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and hop in and, uh, and see. I wonder if the, the uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in and select our new, new transport. <clears throat> Ooh, there we go. So this must have been those special, special, uh, trucks they were talking about so here we go it says massive tech part the 20 by 20 by 16 and it is 99,208 pounds um, it is expected uh, Tuesday between 3 17 p a.m. oh and Monday 8 5 a.m. so they're giving us almost an entire week really to get this delivered uh, I mean, right now it is, it's Tuesday, it's 1.17 a.m. Uh, and they want it between Tuesday and Monday. 13,410, $44.99 a mile. It is a high value cargo, so we should get our perks there. It is a standard delivery. It is a heavy cargo and an articulated trailer. Ooh. And here goes another one. For 12,405, this is an air conditioning complex. It's 43 mm, by 16 by 10. And this one's only 66,138. Um, they also want it Tuesday, 3.17 a.m. Uh, to Sunday, 2.11 a.m. So a shorter time. What was this? Little Tuesday, there's the six days, and this is five days? Hmm. We're going to go with the, a lot heavier one. So Denver, Colorado to Grand Chun Junction, Colorado. Oh, they're both going to the same spot. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Trip distance, 290 miles. It's going to take roughly five hours and 56 minutes. And they are giving us a Kenworth W900 Aero Cab Sleeper. with 625 horsepower and it's 18 speed. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in. I mean, it's going to definitely give us a good boost uh, for our income. So let's go ahead and take this job and see what they got. <clears throat> Massive tech part, huh? Okay. Leaving the FedEx facility. Jesus. Jesus. Look at that. They even got like the spotlights there to help the guys out at night. So these are the guys responsible. Oh, they've got the news crew. These guys are responsible for making sure that everything is tied down. Everything is locked in place. All the hoses are connected. Okay, it says, attention, you are about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the route advisor. Uh, special transport like this, don't stop on red signals and have the right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progression. Okay, it says pay attention. Avoid any possible conflicts with the escort vehicle and keep the cargo between them. Okay. Do not drive out of the estimated route nor to filing nor to filling stations, oh rest stops, etc. So don't go to the gas stations, don't don't go, go to rest stops. This is uh, non-stop. It says uh, obey uh, speed limitations, which will ensure, which, uh, yeah, obey special, obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Man, that was hard for me to get out, uh, to get out, <laughs> to get out. <laughs> uh, watch out for the overtaking traffic and other drivers on the road, of course, and lane change maneuver. So here we go. The there's a three-step three step process. Uh, step one, the maneuver is started by the rear escort by changing and blocking the designated lane. The front escort will wait until the designated lane is unoccupied and then change into the lane. Then if it's safe for a player to move into the designated lane. So pretty much the back escort vehicle is going to block the lane, keep people from getting into the lane. Then my front escort vehicle, vehicle is going to get in there and, and create a gap. 
and then that's going to allow me to actually maneuver. So once the, the rear and the front escort vehicles get into spot, get into place, then I'm actually able to adjust the lane and get in there. Um, they're going to ensure that no vehicles kind of try to swerve in between and do like one of those serpentine maneuvers around. Um, all right. Uh, if you don't follow these special rules, your special transport mission will fail. Okay, well, I will follow the rules then. Look at that. So, got police lights, news crew over there. There goes one of the truck uh, special transport oversized load. Uh -huh. All right, let's hop out of the vehicle. Let's see what we got here. Can we see anything? Well, it's nighttime, so we really can't see much. Let me see if I turn on the vehicle. See what Drive safe. Yep. Still no lights. If I put, oh, well, if I put the reverse light, you can see it. I'm not going to reverse, but at least we can see the the big red Christmas present. Is what I'm calling it. <laughs> Looks like a big oh, a big Christmas present that uh, is wrapped in uh, red wrapping paper. Uh, I almost I almost let a boo boo slip out. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oversized load. How many articulating trailers are there? We have one. One in the rear, the main one, and then one in the front. So we got one, two, three articulating spots. Uh, and by, so I'm talking about, well, I don't have an arrow, so I can't really show you, but you can see how there's one mini trailer in the front, gooseneck in the front, and has a, the main trailer attached to that one. And then on the very back, you have that little end tailpiece, so. All right. Go ahead and hop in our truck, see what we got. First thing as usual, let's go ahead and adjust our seat. Uh, well, let me uh, yeah, adjust that. There we go. Now I can adjust our seat and adjust our mirror. So let's go ahead and pull our seat back a little bit. Let's drop it down. Well, I don't have to worry about dropping it down because we don't worry about lights in this situation. And it looks like our steering wheel is pretty good. I could probably pull it up a little bit and drop it down. Just there we go. All righty. So let's see here. Um, trip. No. Oil temperature. There we go. 180 degrees. Water temperature 156. 219 miles. I have 1,049 to empty. Speed and cruise is where we're going to be at on this uh, on the computer. There goes a the time. There we go. Oh, I got me one of them sticky key requests here. I always hate when that happens. If you guys know how to turn that off, please let me know. I, I mean, I, I need to Google that, how to turn the little, like when you hit the same button over and over again, it kind of pops up that little sticky, sticky key notification from Windows. Um, but let's see here. Um, all right, so speed is where we're at. And there goes our, oh, we shouldn't have to worry too much about the, uh, about our navigation because we have escort vehicles. So yeah, all right, our mirrors look good. Let's see here. So they're going to want us to go over that way. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go to put her in drive. I'm going to swing over to the right and kind of kind of like swing and then kind of turn into the left is what I'm going to do. Um, just because we're so long and hopefully, I mean, this this truck has enough horsepower to, to, to get it, you know, keep us relatively moving. So here we go. Let me see. Uh, Find our new route. Well, we're gonna go where, we, where we're supposed when to go. There we go. Let's hug this right hand side here. I want to make sure that I'm able to. I can't hug it too much because that, that lock goes out. Make it? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And see how the cops are over here. They're they're blocking the lanes here. Let me, let me hop out so I can show you all real quick. So they're over there blocking traffic for us, making sure it's safe to do so. And I believe that cop right there is gonna be our escort. So let's go 
red and gold. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. Appreciate the assistance. Alrighty. Yes, it is. That is indeed our escort vehicle, so... Alrighty. We just need to follow the escort vehicle and we are golden. I'm sure these people are upset, but you know what? This is special transport, people. We got oversized load. Definitely way heavier than what we needed to be. So it's got to be important. We are just going to follow our police escort. There we, go. we got escort vehicles over there, like blocking the traffic. That's pretty neat. Along our whole trip here, so far as our intersection is concerned, we should have traffic blocked off. So that's, that's a good thing. Yep, there you go. If you look, look ahead over there, see how they got Get it blacked off already? Right. We could turn right. I'm going to turn right. Big low, so I'm going to swing over to the left. And swing over to the right. Just because I want to make sure that we clear. And we did it, so we're good. We cleared that corner. And then turn left. <clears throat> nice thing we don't turn have to worry left. about it. So I'm going to stay in this lane here and I'm going to make this. Right, there was a cop waving down the traffic. And again, what I'm looking for is I'm just looking to make sure we can clear that corner. There we go. Alright. First couple of turns out of the way. That's good. We're headed on to the highway. Oh, look at the night lights right there on the interstate right there. Look at that. Look at that. The LED blocks there. That's pretty neat. That is nice. Look at that. That's gorgeous, man. Alright, so what I could do is I could... Uh, Denver International Airport. Okay. What I could do is I could just swing on a little bit over to the right side that's freeing up our left hand lane and what I'm looking at is my load so in the driver's side uh, side mirror I'm looking at the load and making sure that the edge of the load stays inside of our lane um, now that's going to push us to where we're driving on the actual you know shoulder a little bit but at least that gives the traffic a, you know, enough room to where they can swing around and keep going. I mean, we're not really going to be going too fast anyway, so. Um. There we go. Looking good. Too bad I don't have any strobes. But definitely like to have some strobes on right now. Look, look, they're blocking traffic over there, too. Oof, I thought I was going to hit that for a second. Thanks, fellas. This guy right here, he must, uh... Ugh. He must have blue blasted the checkpoint there. He should have stopped way back where they had the escort vehicle, but he snuck his way through and realized, oh shoot, I messed up. <laughs> <coughs> there ain't no other cars moving. Maybe I should have stopped back there. Right, yeah. 
got some uh, construction going on the interstate there. So see now I don't have a shoulder, so I gotta actually drive. There we go. I'll be driving in the middle lane, so I'll be taking up both, all three lanes. Uh, obviously, I'm in the center, and my load is creeping into both the left lane and to the right lane. So nothing really I can do about that. Change lane maneuverable is is incoming. Adapter speed avoid possible crash. Okay. All right. I wonder if that was what we just did. So are you a little bit late? Or you let me know. That must have been the, the front escort vehicle letting me know, or the escort vehicle letting me know, hey, we're getting ready to switch lanes. Um, so that's probably what they were talking about. Um, let's see. There we go. There's police over there stopping traffic. Okay, on the I-25 exit there, and we are staying on the 70. Grand Junctions, there we go. So far, they are over there blocking our oncoming traffic. Oh, a little uh, uh, bike police or patrol police. I do have the engine brake on. I know we're going relatively slow, but you know, I'd rather have that extra stopping power um, in case we need it. Uh, and then I have the cruise control set at 35 miles an hour. Um, it seems to be working. Uh, we'll just maintain 35 miles an hour all the way through. That's probably why it takes so long. Um, we still got 250 miles to go. I'm not too sure if I speed up, if the escort vehicles will speed up, but I'm not too sure if I want to... I mean, the load itself is 99,000 plus pounds, so I don't know if I really want to be going faster than, than what they're recommending. Um, definitely don't want to be going no 65 miles an hour. Let's see if I can get some external shots here. On us straight away. That's gonna be. I mean, although it's gonna be nighttime, so I don't know if we're gonna see much. That's that's the thing, man. Like this would have been awesome to see during the day. You don't have to worry about traffic. We don't have to worry about lights. See. Yeah, see, there's not really much we can see either. So. Really much we can see. Uh, and it looks pretty good, but I don't know. What is it? Is seven is the? Uh, let me see. Uh, seven is the driver's side tire. The six. Six is the front. Eight. There you go. Eight is the. Uh, see the cars are they're creeping by nice and slow. <laughs> Steamboat Springs, yeah, that's where we just delivered our last load at too, is Steamboat Springs. Ooh, so, uh, hmm, I wonder if we're going to have any of those sharp turns that we had when we had Steamboat. Remember how it was just like a straight, almost like a, a, a built-in U-turn. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. 
that is going to be interesting. There's a little bit of a straightaway. Let's see if we can see if I can give you guys a. Uh, That was nerve-wracking. <laughs> that was really nerve-wracking. Wanted to capture that that uh, that that uh, you know drive-by camera, the cinem cinematic camera there. But man, I was I was nervous the whole time. I was like, I'm about to do this. I'm about to crash. I'm gonna lose the mission or lose the, the load. It's, I'm gonna have to re-record because I ain't gonna let that fly. <laughs> so. The good news is that it does seem like what time is it? It is 4:55 a.m. So the sun should start start to be rising here shortly. Uh, I don't know what time it rises in the west, but um, but either way, I mean, at well, five o'clock in the morning, pretty much it's 4:59 in the morning. So that means that if I go to the external view, we should be able to look at that. Should be able to give you guys a nice little. Too bad. Not too bad. There you go. They're stopping traffic for us. It's a way station, is what that is. Checkpoint. We are steaming into that tunnel. There we go. Alright, so I am going to maintain right where I'm at because I really don't know how much room I have to my right side. But it looks like if I stay right here, I'm actually going to be pretty good. So I wonder if we're going through a mountain or if we're going underneath. Oh, it's got to be a mountain. You know, I don't think there's any big bodies of water in, in Colorado. Uh, at least none that you need to be going under. So yeah, it's got to be a mountain. Almost asked a crazy question. Are we going underwater? No, we're not going underwater. Although if you look at our map, we are going to come across a uh, question mark. So we're going to discover something. Truck brake check. Well. Entering Wright River National Forest. Well, I thought we were getting ready to discover something, but we blew right by it. So, uh, I guess we're just going to have to... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going down a hill, huh? Yep, check engine, uh, engine brake, check brake is going.
it was a runaway truck ramp. But for whatever reason we could, we could just go straight up and that'll definitely stop us. Use the following key to deactivate the retard. Oh, my retarder's active. Okay. Key, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. So we have both the Jake brake and the retarder on. Oh. That should both keep us, you know, right where we need to be, right? You know, we don't want to be going no, flying down no hills or anything. I don't want to have to use any other runaway truck ramp, so... Yeah. Nice little bedrock, little creek. Fifty miles left to go. Hundred and fifty miles left to go. Let's see if I can give you guys a little bit more external view. couple turns. Let me see. There we go. That's nice. Nice look. Okay. Turn the swing out into the middle lane. Man. Nice little view. See if I can make this turn without, without crashing. Glenwood Canyon. Oh, that's actually, that's really good. That is really good. Getting close. Getting close. Beautiful scenery there. Look at the river over there. Over to the driver's side. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, yep, uh, yep. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, almost half it. Oh, <laughs> woo. Yeah. Almost crashed there. Almost crashed. All right, here we go, headed into another tunnel. Oh, it's a small tunnel though, it's not too bad. Yeah, well, let me put the windows down here. There we go. There we go, let some of that fresh air. Oh, look at the canyons, man. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, beautiful. Yeah. Now that is Ooh. 
barely made it underneath there. Barely made it underneath there. Oh, look at that over there. Is that that is that, is that the real Colorado flag? The is that what we keep seeing with the with the, the blue and white with the C and the yellow dot in the middle? Is that is that? What, I gotta look that up. Is that like the Colorado State flag? Like a real Colorado State flag, or is that just an in-game version? Because I ain't gonna lie, if that's the Colorado State flag, that seems pretty cheesy. Carter's on. Hundred mile, hundred and two miles left. Oh man, it's, the, the view in here is like just it's just stunning. little drive-by ones but if I put on both and uh, side view mirrors up there can I, would I be able to do it this thing I don't 45 mile an hour curve ahead well, I'm going 35 so this should be good Yeah, no, nope, I don't trust myself. I was gonna try and do it, guys. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> uh, I'm not that confident in my ability to to drive. At least not with a mouse and uh, you know with a with a mouse steering. Um, still looking for a, an actual wheel and pedals, uh, and hopefully a shifter. And uh, once I get all that, then I'll definitely. Uh, be a little bit more confident to do the drive-by camera um, uh, a lot more often because you know I'll have a little bit more control over uh, a little bit more control over my steering so obviously if the steering wheel straight I'm going straight if, if I have it over you know what I mean it's like I'm almost driving so I can look to the left and actually steer to where I need to go and, and be fine so Aspen Not sure what those people are looking at, but it's all right. It's all good. Let me see, maybe. Me. Yeah, relatively straight. Let me see if I'm back. Uh, nah, I think I'll. I'll stick to just the regular outside view here. Put it where we won't be able to do it, so yeah, yeah, let me see here. Beautiful view, views are uh, just amazing in this game. We're at okay. So we have 62 miles left to drive, about an hour and 16 minutes. Uh, just we driving all night. We, well, we started driving at like one something in the morning. Look at that.
Gorgeous. Gorgeous scenery. Swerving left to right. <laughs> yeah. Over the limit? Nope. Well, yeah, in our case, we are over the limit, but we're legal. We even have a DOT escort to prove it. Colorado River. Good old Colorado River. Is it me or did the tarp take some wear and tear? It looks like the back of the tarp there, like when we first started it wasn't so wrinkly, but now as we're progressing it looks like it's wrinkled. I mean I could be wrong, it was it was nighttime when we started, so I really didn't get a good look at it, but it did look a lot more a lot more tighter than uh, uh, maybe it's just the angle I guess I'm let this truck driver over here pass Grand Junction discovered. I think that's where we're headed, right? Let me see. Uh, what is it? Uh, six? Uh, that tells us what our current job is. Pretty sure we're headed to Grand Junction. See, yeah, nine miles, eight miles left, so yeah, we're, we're, we're here. We made it. Not quite finished yet, but we made it. Only 35 miles an hour. 200 plus miles. The payoff is going to be awesome. Bring us one step closer to that 50, which is one step closer to us buying our own rig. Turn off my uh, cruise control. Keep right and then turn right. Keep right and then turn right.
Bell's gas station over there. So I got one of them sticky notes, sticky things. I got to turn that off, man. But uh, didn't really prep me. Didn't give me enough time to. Okay, though. I made. Oh, made it anyways. All right, good stuff. Right, this is us right here. crew of course Fox News wanting us to know if they we made it uh, we made it we got this Fox got this boom go ahead and take a look not really much we can do as far as maneuvering since it is, uh, you know, three, uh, it's a, a turkey trailer, so yeah, I'm not going to be backing it up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our truck off. Let's go ahead and hop on outside and see where we're at, see what we got. Well, I can honestly say I am satisfied with that. We are in the green as far as our truck and trailer is concerned. Obviously, our oversized load isn't. We are right on the money. That was an awesome haul. Beautiful haul. Yeah, a fox over there, escort vehicles. Fox News right over there with the police escort. Wanted to know, how did we do it? How did you pull this load? Well, let me tell you, Fox News. We pulled it with grace. We pulled it with precision and professionalism. And it helped that we drove overnight so we didn't have to deal with too much traffic. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go ahead and drop our load off and see what we got. Alrighty. So our job complete. We have excellent. Excellent distance driven was 290 miles an hour. It took us 10 hours and 7 minutes. 10 hours and 7 minutes to drive 290 miles. We used 70.6 gallons. Let's see. Base reward 290 miles. We got 12,552 with 986, 83 XP. Proficiency bonus, level two. So that gave us 244 extra dollars. Our long distance delivery bonus, that's because we're skill rank zero or one, I think. Um, gave us 245 XP. Our high value bonus, skill rank run, gave us an extra $610 plus 176 XP and then of course since we parked our trailer um, we got the trailer maneuvering bonus which gave us an additional 25 XP for a total of $13,406 added to our account and 1,429 XP 
we went from being level two all the way to being just above level four. Just above level four, we creeped right in there. So let's see, we have 3,400 to go before we're level five, and we out of the 3,400, we are at 2,303. Let's see here, so oh, we got two skill points. So let's go ahead and dunk one into just-in-time deliveries. And um, let me see, should I? Hmm. Let's put another one into fragile, right? Because this, let me see. High value, fragile. Let's no, actually let's do high. Uh, ten percent rewards, five percent increase for a high value. Rank two, ten percent, five percent increase. So let, let's let's do. Let's do high value. We'll do high value level two. Boom. Alrighty. Got some new upgrades. Let's see what we got for our Peter build. We got some front standard paint rims, front standard wide, uh, rear standard, and standard wide. So, yeah, we got wide rims and, and standard double rims for our Peter builds. Um, Lovo, did we get any more? We're going to have Lovo. But we'll check them out anyways. Oh, we got the same thing. Wait, oh, wait, we do have more for Peterbilt's. Got the cap, shadow cap, some more uh, steering wheels, some hub caps. Um, bumper, bug deflector. Executive air four filter, filter. Standard size skirts. We got quite a bit. Quite a bit for our beater build. So when we go to buy our truck, we'll have a quite a few standard or quite a few upgrades we can add to it. We can get a really good trick, really good rig. Alrighty. Oh look, to our money, we are at thirty-one thousand and thirty-five. So we are what nineteen thousand, a little, little more than nineteen thousand away, or a little less than nineteen thousand away. So we got an email. We can help you grow. Uh, yeah, dear Sawyer man, we couldn't help but notice your steady earnings and we would like to assist you with developing your potential even further. Your credit limit has been raised to 500,000. 500, Feel free to draw from available funds or available sum anytime at your local bank. So we went from 130 to 500. Um, that, that, is, <laughs> that is a very tempting offer. Very tempting offer because right now we can go and take out enough money to actually take out enough money to actually purchase a truck, deck it out, make it look our own, and still have enough credit left over. Um, granted, we would have to start making payments, so we'll see. Uh, we actually have enough money to buy two trucks and even hire a driver. Um, so that's something we're going to be thinking about. Um, I mean, are we going to go ahead and just take out a business loan, buy two trucks that we're going to deck one of them out? Of course, it'll be ours. We're going to, you know, deck one out, customize it, make it ours, buy a standard truck and then hire a driver and get them going. Or, um, that's, that's a lot, lot to, lot to consider. So we'll see. Thank you guys again for joining in uh, for this this long haul. I know it's a longer video than before just because we were going a lot slower. Uh, and it was a special specialized uh, load as well. I did try to do some of the sceneries, get some external views. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, if you did like, uh, enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. You know, that I mean, a great deal to support the channel. Great deal for us to grow, um, grow our, our channel and just grow our family as well here. Uh, Throw a like on the, uh, the, you know, a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free to comment below, man. Let me know what you guys think and, uh, you know, of anything, of anything at all. Uh, you know, what I could do to improve, what I, what I did great, uh, uh, whatever. Just let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Also, you know, if you, again, if you know anybody who would enjoy this kind of content, share the video, man. Send it over to them. Let them know, hey, this guy's trying to do something different. He's trying to do something new. Uh... He's somewhat funny, kind of in a cornyish way. I don't know. You know, you guys can you be the judge, uh, and uh, we'll just uh, you know we'll, we'll go together. So, thank you again, and as always, stay safe. Peace.